atheist. All right, next batch of articles I got for you. I got more. Um, Xbox is rumored to be prototyping a native Xbox handheld, it's claimed. Kid Cuisine. <laughs> penguin does look like he eats Kid Cuisine. Kid, the Penguin looked like he liked them brownies and Kid Cuisine. That nasty ass shit. Jeff Corden of the Xbox Two podcast has claimed that Xbox is working on a native handheld. On the Xbox Two podcast, Corden said, I know that they've, Xbox, have got handheld prototypes right now. Corden soon clarified that these are new prototypes and not the old product prototypes often referred to. As pointed out in the podcast, prototypes don't necessarily mean that new products are coming to the market, but Xbox pursuing a handheld isn't all that surprising. Hold on one second. Uh... Uh, Corden later said, no, not a cloud handheld, a fully native Xbox handheld. The Nintendo Switch has sold well. How would y'all feel about that? Like the next Xbox, instead of it being, instead of it being a console, it's like the Switch or the, um, the Steam Deck. I wouldn't be mad at that. I wouldn't be mad at that. I, I, I don't know if I want them to do like a full blown handheld, like a PSP, but if they do the hybrid, the console handheld. And it's got like some power on that bitch. I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, which one, once again, we'd have to cloud up Nintendo because Nintendo innovating. Uh, <laughs> the Nintendo Switch, yeah, we know, whatever. It's unclear on when Xbox would announce a new Xbox handheld, but various rumors have suggested that the console's next generation of consoles, which, oh, by the way, this plays into that rumor. You remember the, um, not rumor, but the story had came out. They switched the... Um, who was run, who was head of producing the next Xbox and it was the head of the the Microsoft Surface team which produces those handhelds that kind of that kind of comp this story kind of complements it maybe the next Xbox is a handheld and that's why they 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 contracted the Surface team to come in and help them understand how to produce a high quality computer for for on the go like the Series X resources could go handheld it could but for next generation it's got to be something more powerful got to be something more powerful I would, uh, I was gonna guess it could be another series like a Series M. That's why. Oh, you know what? That could, I could see that. Yeah, you're right. I think that coincides with JP is saying maybe for the next generation they have like an Xbox Series X2, which is like their this is what the most powerful thing we have, and then their Xbox Series S would be the handheld, basically. I'd be tempted to buy them both. I'm not gonna lie. That that could work. That could work. A service handheld would be nice. This is interesting. Um, let me see. Xbox Two. I've never heard of this podcast. Okay, he's got a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, he's reputable. He's reputable. At least he's got a following. This isn't the guy at the GameStop. This is a Xbox, and being and being that it's an Xbox um only kind of podcast, they probably do have good relationships with people who are familiar with the brand. So you know, there might be some merit to this. He got a little bit of clout. Uh, take it with a grain of salt, though. None, none of this is confirmed, but this is interesting. They could pat, they could work out a Game Pass ecosystem like Steam did. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, let me save this one. I keep forgetting to fucking save articles for the fucking podcast. I gotta go through my my notes again. Uh, Xbox handheld. Uh, might be smart and they already have game pass ui ready for handhelds yep maybe they were using mobile markets to test out the 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 mobile ui for game pass to get ready i just what is it control t control alt t what's the shit to bring up the last uh tab i accidentally just closed one uh control shift t control shift t there we go uh here's another big story Resident Evil fans, where y'all at? In the midst of all the Dragon's Dog of 2 drama going on, Capcom's got some more news leaking out there. It's being reported that Resident Evil 9 possibly is going open world. According to a new tweet from a reputable leaker, Dust Gullum, Resident Evil 9 could potentially build on the RE engine and go open world. Resident Evil 9 has reportedly been in works for years and many speculate it will launch in 2025. The most recent core game in Resident Evil Village, which launched in 2021, Dust Golem, posted as user Aesthetic Gamer One, also claims that Monster Hunter Wild is building on the same tech. However, they do reassure fans that both Resident Evil 9 and Monster Hunter Wild should still retain the series DNA of either franchise. 
Last October, Dust Golem took the Discord to tease a variety of details about Resident Evil 9 that suggested that Resident Evil 9 will boost the, boast the largest budget yet in the series. This would line up with the game's development taking so much longer than expected. Using a brand new engine for open world gameplay would also take a bit longer for the series to de deliver. Hmm. How y'all feel about this? I'm not, y'all know I'm not a big Resident Evil fan, so I'm curious to hear how do y'all feel about the potential of Resident Evil 9 going open world? What does this mean for the franchise and the fan base known as Resident Evil? I I I feel like my gut tells me from the outside looking in on the Resident Evil community, just from like a horror game fan, like some something like Dead Space. I feel like it wouldn't work just because I feel like part of what makes scary games work is the claustrophobia, the lack of mobility. Who cares if something jumps out at you at the bushes if you can just run away versus if something jumps out at you at the closet? You're in a tight knitted space. You got limited ammo. I, I feel like it kind of counterbalances. It counteracts the core mechanics of what makes something scary. Um, like what's like, and you could use that same logic in real life, right? Um, what's more scary? Getting caught by a samurai when you, let's say you're coming in your house and there's a samurai sitting at your fucking, uh, at your uh on your couch and he jumps at you what's that what's more scary the samurai in your house or you see a samurai across the street and he starts running at you like that's scary too but i'm gonna dip into the alleyway he don't know the city like me bitch the fuck he said this is not good i'm seeing 50 50 i'm seeing some people say they're interested some people saying they're not people who resub uh, make me happy sort of like when rouge the bat throws it back Shout out to uh, Cammy with the sub. I appreciate it. Wait, what about Alan Wake 2? Pretty sure it was open spaces. Nah, it was mostly closed. That was not a, Alan Wake 2 was not an open world game. There was, there was a level that was open, but like, it was like semi open world, but the main story beats and that, that, that part that was open, it was just to get you from point A to B. The main story beats in the horror was always in like condensed areas. So it still had the traditional mechanics. Uh, it was a very linear open world. Yeah, this sounds like they're going Breath of the Wild, Dragon's Dogma, Elden Ring. And I'm trying to figure out why would that be scary. But um, let me add that one to da, 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 da. Uh, podcast notes. You know what I need to add um, before I forget over what that shit from yesterday. Overwatch. Uh, da, 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 da. making all heroes free. Da, 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 da. He in my house waiting for me. I'm a shit. If he across the street, I'm a still shit, but I can run home and lock the door. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, I feel like claustrophobia plays a big role in the why stuff is scary. Um, resonance. Evil nine going. Uh, 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 uh. I guess it had to be difficult to escape them like certain enemies in Fallout Vegas. Da, 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 da. This is interesting though. We got I would say let, let's 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 reserve, reserve judgment. If this is true, let's wait to see when a trailer drops, will it be good or not? Um which by the way, I don't know if y'all saw this news. This is pretty funny. I think I I think I retweeted it, yeah. Uh apparently there was a mission going on in Helldivers 2 and the community failed. Um, and I guess the general of the Helldivers army said no pussy for y'all, uh, as a punishment, no sex for the Marine, the space Marine. So you guys, not that y'all niggas was having sex anyway, but, uh, why is Joe Budden trending? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Why the fuck is Joe Budden trending? Uh, episode three, two, one, three, four of Joe Budden be right. Uh, is this why he's trending? Let's see. Let me mute this. this is, uh, Just because this nigga resubscribed, yo, mean I have to subscribe to the idea that I contribute to black on black crime. The Shout out to uh nine one five two three with the sub. Life, me too. Niggas and Joe says only one person got to get mad for this to happen. True, but then you not a whole bunch. But I think you will have to be personal to get somebody out their comfort zone. And the Most likely commented on Kendrick. To get mad Emergency episode. Has got mad before. <laughs> yeah. And he, that nigga's petty. He get mad quick. And when he get mad quick enough, songs start dropping at 2, 3, 4 a.m. sometimes directed toward people saying, yo, chill out. I'm busy. 
But you know what? So this isn't new? He ain't get mad at him before. And he's had plenty of opportunities. It's an old clip. I'm not going to lie. Ever since, like, the drama, I don't really watch Joe Budden podcast anymore. Um, Like, the new dudes. Like, they don't seem bad, but, you know. Um, I'll watch it every once in a while. You listen to the track? Yeah, it was cool. I was saying that's an old clip, though. Yeah, uh, complimenting the news from the other day. So if you weren't in the the stream the other day, news came out Overwatch 2 for season 10, I believe. The next upcoming season, they will be switching their business model. So for those unaware, it was a free-to-play game. And you could earn the heroes, but you could also buy them. But from my understanding, it was very hard to earn them. So everybody just kind of bought them. Uh, it's being reported that season 10, they will make all the heroes free and they will not reimburse people who paid for in-game items. And to complement that, that sandwich of fuckery, uh, now it's being reported that the PVE has been canceled. Now this might be confusing because there was an article last year that came out about this and they never said that the PVE was fully canceled. I think it was, they were dialing it back. It seems like they ain't doing shit. They're trying to make as much money as possible while doing as little work as possible, man. And you know, the weird thing I keep saying about, I just, I feel like I don't see anybody talking about it. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out, is it because Overwatch 2 is that dead or because the Overwatch community doesn't care? I know a couple people who play Overwatch and I seen them recently tweet on the timeline. But they were just tweeting about them playing the game as if this shit doesn't exist. Uh, I thought we knew the PvE wasn't happening. Now it's full blown confirmed. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Very interesting. Uh, the Nintendo Wii. Very inter- interesting platform. Oh, we don't care. Don't care. Esports. Okay. All right. Well, moving on. My bad. My bad. My bad. Riot Games. Riot's League. League of Legends MMO has been reset and likely going dark for several years. If you're an MMORPG fan who's been patiently waiting for new news of the Riot's game swing at the genre. Th- Just because this nigga resubscribed. Yo, shout out to Hokage Dre with the sub. Appreciate it. The second niggas just suffer behind the scenes and pretend arms. on Twitter. I swear on Maria's ah. niggas tripping. As someone who still plays the game, I think a large portion just minds their business and plays comp, so they don't care. Uh, I'm afraid you'll probably have to wait quite a while longer. Riot's co-founder Mark Merrill announced that the project has been reset and won't appear for likely several years, with one of the main reasons being a need to do something that truly feels like a significant evolution of the genre. Over on the Twitter thread, Merrill explained that Riot had pulled the plug on the MMO some time ago because it was too similar to other MMOs and didn't feel like they brought anything new to the genre. We do we don't believe that you all want an MMO MMO that you've played before with the Runeterra coat of paint on it. To truly do justice to the potential of Runeterra and to meet the incredibly high expectations of players around the world, we need to do something that truly feels like a significant evolution of the genre. I respect it. I respect it. I'm not mad at it. If I had to take a wild guess, the build that they currently have right now that they're scrapping and throwing in the trash that nobody will ever see unless somebody leaks it, it was probably League of Legends meets World of Warcraft. Probably the same exact game. My question is, what can you do with the MMO genre to make it feel make it feel alive? You know? I think they could be retooling League of Legends to be in sync with Arcane for brand synergy. What do you mean? Isn't it already? While well, they killed the MMO? No, they didn't kill it. They're resetting it. They're basically just starting from scratch. Basically, they built something. They don't like it. They don't feel like it's innovative or fun enough. So they're making a new game. They, they didn't kill it, though. Uh, just don't expect to see this game for a long time. And I'm going to be honest. There's nothing. I wouldn't be too worried about it anyway, because I'd imagine it's not their focus. Their focus right now is Project um, Project L or Double Kisses, Double Hugs and Kisses. Um <laughs> Yeah, Double Hugs and Kisses is probably going to be coming out next year. So that's probably their focus, trying to, you know, make sure that's clean for launch. And then after that, they'll probably go full sale on the MMO. Not full sale in terms of quality of the game, but, you know, like go all in. Uh, but Yeah, it's just back to the drawing board. It, I'm OK with it. I'd rather them put out a good game than just rush some shit out. I feel like MMOs have had their time already low key. Too much of a time sink. 
MMOs were the original live service game. We just didn't call it that. Bloodstrike Global, a new battle royale, joins the arena. Is there a trailer for this? This is a fucking Android game. Man, what? This just showed up on my fucking Google News. Why were they... Oh, my God. Next. Uh, is that all I got? I think that's all I got. All right, let's hop into the sub box. Boom, 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 boom. Let's hop into the... Uh, uh, uh. Rumble Club. Is this another Fall Guys clone? Space... Pri oh, fuck now. Um, Holston. The most iconic bat suits. Uh, I'm so sick of BRs. Aren't we all? Uh, Sworn official announcement trailer. I don't know what that is. Oh, that is. Foundation Galactic Frontier. Hordes of the Hunger. Warframe 1999. Final Stand Ragnarok. Oh, I think I watched that yesterday. The Operator, Dystopia, shout out to Omni. Battle Crush, no thank you. Rusty Rabbit, whoa, still wakes the deep. None of these games look really interesting, I'm gonna be honest. I think I gotta worry about it. Final Thanks Fantasy 16 DLC. With this money, I can now ditch the janky plane I built and fly first class on Spirit Airlines. Yo, shout out to a section with the sub. Y'all heat TBH's warning because that in save shit cost me a couple hours of progress too just now. Oh, you, you accidentally clicked load last in instead of the load last save. I told y'all don't ever click that load last in. Uh uh. Uh, don't ever click that shit. Da, 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 da. You started watching Shogun yet? I have not watched any TV. Nah. Uh, last thing I watched is Avatar. I'm going to get to it. It's on the list. It is on the list. Sky of Tides. Do -do 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 -do. Ascendant. I've already seen that. We're good off that. Awaken Astral Blade. Da -da. Finding out I can only have one character makes me want to refund the game. It's annoying, but that doesn't make me want to refund the game. I feel like I feel like somebody's gonna mod that shit into the PC version. Princess Peach Showtime. That's a game that's gonna get buried. Uh, I guess I don't really care because I'm not gonna have multiple. I'm not gonna, I know I'm not gonna play through multiple times, but yeah, if you want to, I can see why. Uh, just wanted a dragon to beat the shit out of. Just watched a, bre a dragon beat the shit out of an org right now. Random shit going on. Random shit going on. Fifty five of the most useful Chrome extensions. Let me go ahead and save that one for later. Arc Survival Ascended Efficient Trail. This game is out. What the fuck? Um, wait, no rest for the wicked overview trailer. Flintlock, we saw that. Mobile Suit Gundam Silver Phantom teaser. Robo Beat. Sand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's an animated show, really? Outpost Infinity City. God damn, it's a lot of trailers. Most of this is probably going to be um, full Cell University. Let's go. Rumble Club. Kinship. Brotherhood. Shut up. Times there is no more power. Google Play Store alert. Says last. Nimmer more. Full sale. Peggy 16. Looks okay. Still a little icy DC. No rest for the wickets coming. I'm not playing that. My name is Andres Bordi and I'm What in the Coleco Vision is this shit, bruh? Atari. Product not yet rated. Okay, hold on, what's this? Hordes of hunger. An action survival soul souls like Oh my god, bro. Full sale. Warframe 1999. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even know Paxis was going on. I seen somebody tweet about it. Paxis, babe. Uh, you're coming, Ellie. 
It's a party, Arthur. Of course not. <laughs> like a Metal Gear Rising kill when he does. That was the trailer? Oh my fucking god, bro. Why should I be excited about this? This game keeps getting better and better. Huh? Oh my god. Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. There's actually been quite a bit of AI news. Oh, I'm gonna say that for later. That's for me, chat. Welcome to the FDI, Mr. Tanner. As our newest operator, your role is to Woke. support our agents in the field. <laughs> Using cutting edge software. Woke. Investigate mysterious <laughs> crimes. Dig for clues. Am I going to review the Metro Boomin album? Nah, I don't know. I listened to it about, I listened to like half of it this morning in the gym. I'm going to be honest, I couldn't make it through the album. I don't know if that deserves a review. Here's my review of the album. Um, it sounds like a Metro Boomin future album with a, with, a, with, a, with a Kendrick feature on there. That's the highlight of the album. There's a reason why on Twitter, the only thing people are talking about is Kendrick. Uh... <laughs> Uh, that's about it. Didn't really move me though. <laughs> Dystopy Pika? Yeah, you know what you're getting. Like, I don't have some hot take on that shit. Hmm. Speaking of that, I did see a funny tweet, Cammy, since you love Drake. He, uh, he quoted the bar from the Kendrick verse <laughs> where he was saying, ain't no big three, it's just big me. And he said something along the lines of, it was on my For You page. He said something along the lines of, all right, we need number two to answer back. We need to hear some bars back from J. Cole. And he said, as for Aubrey, he said, number three, we don't want to hear from you. you <laughs> There's nothing you can do. He said, this fight is not for you. The bars are too, too talented. <laughs> Not Drake quoted the bar. I didn't say that. What's your order of the big three? Who has the most hits? It'd be Drake. Who has the best discography? Hmm. I like Kendrick's first album. I like the one that was before the first album. What was that shit called? Um... And the mixtape. That's three. I like Pimp the Butterfly. That was four. Section 80. Yeah, I like Section 80. So that's what, five? That's kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. What came after to a Pimp the Butterfly? I wasn't really a big fan of the last album. Um, what came after to Pimp the Butterfly? Was it his latest album? Damn. I liked Damn. That was cool. That's six. Um, then let's see. J. Cole. Um... His early mixtapes, the, the lights ones, I liked all them shits. Um, I liked this. His first album, it was good enough. I liked it. I liked it. Uh, what was the second one? Was it Forest Hills Drives? Friday Night Lights. Yeah, I liked Friday Night Lights. That's four. Uh, so yeah, Born Center, Friday Night Lights. Um, what was the one where he was dissing Lil Pump? I liked that album. That's five. Uh... What's the last thing he put out? Uh, da, 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 da. For your eyes only. I like that. That was six. Honestly, them niggas is kind of tied to me. If we if we go on for like disc for disc, them niggas is kind of tied. Yeah, I, I damn, I can't really say I like one or the other more. I think they both got really good music. Uh, the fall the fall off ain't out yet though. The fall that's his next album, right? I told you it was a tie. Yeah, if we're going objectively, like we're being fair in terms of numbers, like they're kind of tied to me. Um, <laughs> I hate to say this, Cammy, but I kind of agree with the tweet. Drake has a lot of really good songs, but like he's not in the conversation in terms of projects. <laughs> tied for number two. All right. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was listening. Drake came on today when I was in the gym. What was it? Um... I forgot what song it was, but Big Sean dropped a song recently on the timeline. It was fire. He was dropping some bars. 
And in the song, Drake was rapping just like Big Sean, and it cracked me up. Because everybody... People are so cheap. Hold up. Everybody was like praising Big Sean for that song he dropped, right? Then Kendrick dropped, and everybody's dissing Big Sean again. And I'm like, yo, I feel like... I'm not like a super Big Sean fan, but like I don't think he I don't ever feel like he put out bad music. Um I feel like he gets a little bit too much hate, like the way people be calling him corny. Like people talk about Big Sean like he's logic, you know? Like logic deserves some of that scrutiny with the biracial bars. Um but like I don't think Big Sean is that damn I don't think he's that damn corny. Um but I say that to say I just think it's funny because if you go back and listen to like some of Drake's earlier music, and not just Drake, I think Nicki did it too. Like every everybody was rapping like Big Sean for like a good two years, the the super duper flow or whatever. So I think it, I, the revisionist history is funny to me because everybody stole that nigga's flow. Uh, I just thought that was funny. I forgot what song, what Drake song had came on one of my playlists, but he was doing that thing where. Like you remove the subject, the the predicate or some shit like that. You end it at the end. You just end it with like a specific word. I was like, oh, that's a super duper flow. He's rapping just like Big Sean because he wrote they shit. The moment Logic said he's blacker than his cousin Keisha and whiter than his mom Mona Lisa is when I turned that shit off. <laughs> Big soldier. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. People forget Big Sean was a top three at one point. True, true. I wouldn't say top three, maybe five with like Wale. It was like, I would have put it like in the early 2010s, I would have put like Kendrick, Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake, like in that top three. And it's interchangeable depending on the person. And then after that, I would put like Wale and like Big Sean. Um, that kind of like do their own thing. People forget that like Big Sean and Wale had hits. Um, man, I have to say this, but I have too much to type at this point. People just love to hate Drake. And I didn't see people were coming for Big Sean other than people just laughing that he got overshadowed. Yeah. Like clowning him basically still. He's like, bro, let that man breathe. Um, I think, I don't think, I don't think people be hating on Drake. It's more so like, um, I look at Drake as like, I'm trying to think of like an example here. Someone who has so much potential but just doesn't live up to it. I think that it's not really hating. It's 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 really coming from like a place of love. Like, bro, you could do so much better. Um, yeah, he hasn't evolved. Like, if we talk about J. Cole and Kendrick's album, none of those albums that I listed sound alike. And that's the sign of like a, a good artist. Drake is too comfortable. Uh yeah, like a disappointed father. Like he's like almost like um he's like Mikey Williams. <laughs> if y'all if y'all watch basketball, Mikey Williams was the world's best eighth grader, and he was the world's best ninth and tenth grader, and then everybody had a growth spurt, and he's still a he's an okay player, you know, but everybody caught up to him. Like that's all that's all I'm saying. Like he just got kind of he got a little too content. I feel like um, you don't really hear that hunger in his voice. But I, I me for me, it's not a place. Of, at least from my perspective, it's not a place of hate. It's always a, it's it's always a a place of love. You said not a bad com uh, comparison, in my opinion. It's, it's a place of love. We just want to see you do better, big dog. Uh, let's see. What else we got? He's been making too many projects. He needs. Well, he said he was taking a break for like a year. I think that'll be. I think he should take. I think Drake should take two, three years off. Because if he drops an album after taking a break for like two, three years, he'll have so many fresh perspectives. He needs to go live life in a life that doesn't involve fucking 25 <laughs> 25 year olds and then crying about it on a song because they're not acting his age he needs to go live his life be with his family go travel meet different people he needs to find inspiration i feel like he's too sucked into that hollywood lifestyle and it's starting to reflect into his music he said he was going to take a break and then dropped it yeah that's what I said. he said he was going to take a break but he said only a year i think he should go for i think he should take a break for at least two years just go live life like um like I, and i'll give you an example right um Sometimes my girl will say things to me like um, she, she feels sometimes like really nervous, like she's always bothering me. Uh, and I'd be like, no, I want to hang out with you. I want to do X, Y and Z. It gets me off the computer. Right. And like, we'll go hang out and we'll do things. And she's like, why do you feel that way? And I'm like, yo, just be being out here in this plaza, seeing people interact with people, seeing kids do funny things, seeing animals, 
doing shit. I was like, and my dog being with us too sometimes. Like, I was like, that gives me inspiration for jokes. I was like, I cannot be inspired if I don't see people, basically. Uh, that's why a lot of content creators are so miserable. They just sit at the computer. So I'm like, no. I was like, if you want to hang out, just say so. Like, I'll make the time. Yeah, and then you put that experience. And it's the same thing for Drake. I was like, I think he needs to go experience things and put that back into his music. And I think it will improve because of that. Because uh, I'm still waiting for that from that classic from him. I'm still waiting from that classic from him. I don't want to hear any more bars about fucking 25-year-olds and then crying about how... I'm sorry. I know you don't, it's hard to hear, Cammy, but that shit was awful. Like, baby, act your age. She is. She is acting her age. Oh, still wakes... <laughs> it's not hard. I'm 25. Still uh, wakes the deep. <laughs> yeah, he needs more life, ironically. More life. I think he could get it together, though. Because one thing I will give him, like, his flow never fell off. And, like, you'll still get some occasionally good bars from him. The talent is still there. I think he just needs something to inspire him to push him over the edge. Versus just showing up in the studio and making microwave music. What am I looking at, bro? It's funny. Miyamoto said the same thing about creating games. It's hard to explain to people who are not creative and like hyper logical. You just get the like yesterday I got an idea for a new series on for I'm just saying I'm not going to say it because I don't want anybody stealing it. And I haven't seen anybody do it, um, but I got and it just randomly came to me when I was walking my dog. And like, <laughs> so it's like there's no science behind it. It's completely illogical. It's not meant to be understood. It's one of those things is like if you are a creative person, go outside. Yo. Shout out to Keish with the uh, with the sub. Go outside and experience things, and things will just come to you, basically. Shout out to YNR with the sub. Appreciate it. Now I can afford a retwist for my locks. Appreciate the sub. So my bad. Tired of fighting. The lighting on this is nice. I just want it to be over. I want you home. More horror. If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait. Miyazaki talked about how swifting through nature inspired a lot of his films. You can draw inspiration from a lot of things. You just got to find that angle. Being creative is really because there's never there's no idea, in my opinion, at least that's 100 percent creative. But being creative a lot of times is being able to take something and just attack it from like a different angle. But you can't find that angle if you don't go outside and, and find the inspiration. Um, from that shit so yeah like i you know gotta find some type of balance um otherwise you know you start to get content you start to believe everything you're doing is great and you start to get inside your bubble and that's when the fallout Why starts people resubscribe to the idea of shadow having a bbc Yo, only sonic wields that type of power shout out to black yoshi with the sub and then another thing like too you can't miss what's always here if you just disappear for like two days like whenever kendrick or cole dropped it's like an event like that shit took over the fucking timeline and just that one song, that one verse from Kendrick, it's like people don't miss Drake. You got to let, even if the music comes back and it's not the greatest, he'll get the benefit of people miss him. So like they'll be more inclined to listen to the shit. Take a break, dog. Final Fantasy 16 DLC, the Rising Tide DLC. Who's excited to press square some more? Hell yeah. Create a new Mother Crystal. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering finally end. And all it would <laughs> The MCU of hip hop is crazy. Of a Isn't this the second DLC for the game? I don't know. I don't play this shit. This game sucks. Chocobos. None other than Shiva. What was so bad about Final Fantasy 16? Didn't find the story to be interesting. The characters weren't interesting at all. That's that's a big problem when your game has 11 hours of cutscenes. Um, the combat was very watered down, which is especially confusing because the director of this game directed Devil May Cry, which is known for having fantastic combat. You could pretty much just press square to win. Now, Final Fantasy fangirls will tell you, oh, it was more than that. Yeah, you could do more than that. But the point I'm trying to make is you could just press square to win. It was a fairly easy game. You could halfway turn your brain off. And then also there were no status elements in the game, which is always a big, a big part of RPGs. So like 
There was like no fire, ice, any of those type of abilities. Like the materia in Final Fantasy VII, none of that's in here. It was just a very watered down experience. But the main thing that bothered me, I think I would have been able to power through it despite the gameplay changes if the story was good. The 11 hour cutscenes, man, like I just couldn't do it. You would watch a 15 minute cutscene. You'd walk like for one minute, it'd be some talking. And here comes another five minute cutscene. I'm turning this shit off. He deserves a better fate than the one map. But I guess this is for people you know who enjoyed that. He deserves to be free. Yeah, I did. It's a future album. I enjoyed the game, but definitely agreed the pacing was really bad. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. If you like the story, you'll be able to power through it. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed. It sucks because the game does look good visually. The boss fights were pretty epic too, the ones that I played. You like like you could in Final Fantasy Teen Teen change the fit. Uh, I'm sorry, but the story pace of cutscenes is almost the same length as Final Fantasy 7 remake. Uh no. You must oh, oh, here's another issue. This game is very linear too. Uh no. No, it's not running. Uh maybe if you just run through the story, sure. But Final Fantasy 7 is an open world game with tons of side quests and mini games, exploration like in secrets. No, it's not. The pacing on Final Fantasy 7 is way better. Stop. You're probably just speed running the story. So yeah, it is going to be a lot of cutscenes. Linear is better for this type of game. This looks pretty cool though. See, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little concerned about Monday for you, Ronan. I'm not gonna. You've had some pretty bad takes this past week about games, and Monday, I know you said you start your job at GameStop. I'm a little bit worried about what you're gonna be telling the soccer moms who come through. We we gotta. I, I hope th you, they're gonna be doing training, right? They're gonna be doing training for you, because earlier this week you said the screen was shaking because of the 120 frames. Now 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 you're saying the pacing on Final Fantasy 16 is the same as Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You said, who are you talking about? Ronin. <laughs> the Ronin exclusives. I don't think Final Fantasy VII has 11 hours of cuts. Like, like when I say that, can, are, are like, I know you hear the number, but like, are y'all actually comprehending what I'm saying? 11 hours of cutscenes. If we break that down, that's five and a half movies, nigga. Five and a because uh, the average movie is like two hours, right? That's five and a half movies plus gameplay. Do like, y'all understand what I'm saying? That's in fucking sane. It's the same pacing. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, the time you could have been playing playing the game. So I'm a little concerned. I'm really hoping the manager trains you well. Five seven remake has 16 hours of cutscenes, while 16 has. 17 hours of cutscenes. Well, that goes to show you the pacing is so much better in seven because of the open world. The fact that there's more gameplay. Someone in the chat even agreed. He's like, I like Final Fantasy 16, but he's like, I agree. The pacing is awful. If you like it, it's okay, but the pacing is bad in this shit. Um, hot take Drake is the result of over strictness of the gatekeeping of hip hop, leading him to burning down the pillars of whom go in and who doesn't. It's why experimentation is less frowned upon, but at the cost of actually trying to build a following, being the next generation to lead. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, I'm glad you're not the only one who hates 16. The cutscenes put me to sleep. Uh, but, but, but 11 hours could have watched both. Yeah, you could have watched both Dune movies. <laughs> we got a yapper. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need an explanation. Like, what, what do you mean, bro? EV2 rallies against an overwhelming invader. Waging. Oh my god. Unreal 3 engine asset flip. I see DC college alert. I'm bringing my A game on Monday. My manager's rooting for me. I'm, I'm rooting for you too, Ronan. I'm rooting for you too. Make sure to play my stream on the TV. I'll make sure to cuss a lot. Um, I could link you the video that has a better explanation than I ever could. I'm not going to watch it right now. What's the name of the video though? Rin Delora, the whole syndicate is looking for you, and I found you first. Am I gonna do another Ask a Black Guy? No. Father instructed me to play this message for you. 
Do you want to hear it? A message from nope. Dad? I can't believe I'm not doing it uh, just because I seen some people tweet asking me that I'm not doing it because um, a that's literally what the streams are. I sit here and talk to y'all for like hours and then B to be fair, like I'm not trying to be mean, but my growth on YouTube has nothing to do with like the majority of like that 600,000 that was on that channel. It's like a new hundred thousand. So like why, why do stuff that for people that are not even watching anymore? Like, yeah, y'all are regulars in here and y'all watch. But most of the people, most of those people are like dead subs. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dragon's Dogma paid chill. You know it. I guess they saw the 700K and thought it was coming back. Like, nah, 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 nah. This is a new era. I'm not doing shit to the... Because then, then, like, if I keep trying to appease people of the past, that's just going to hurt me in the long run. And what got me here is not getting away from that shit, basically. If you knew him. I Versus I was struggling with it before where I would teeter. I would teeter on trying to appease the past, but also trying something new. Fuck that. We just going all in on new. And if, if it makes him mad, it's okay. Bring Rindalore directly to me. Uh, yeah, I'm good off this. Yeah, you know I'm a paid show, Siggy. What's good, though? I appreciate it, uh, Dot K. Bro, it's a lot of full sell. I think somebody, was it you, Ronan? Somebody kept telling me I needed to watch the Spring Games show Showcase. This is why I didn't watch this shit. You're going to live stream the Spring Games Showcase? Look what they showcasing, bruh. Fucking... Thomas Jefferson Middle School exclusive. Nigga, what the fuck? Thomas Jefferson Middle School computer science class exclusive. The name's Bob. This shit is really an animated show. More dangerous than you know. Dear Jane, you're probably not gonna be seeing me around the 4th of July. What this naked nigga shit? What the fuck? All right, here we go. A real game. No rest for the wicked. Let's go. Laugh my ass off. That's the name of the middle school I went to. Uh, there's 500 people in here right now. There's a probability at least five people went to a Thomas Jefferson middle or high school. All the schools are named after like, you know, American heroes or whatever. Benjamin Franklin Academy. <laughs> hey, I'm Thomas Martin. I'm the director at Moon Studios. Hey, I'm uh, and I'm a yeah, the DeVry Showcase. Of Jesus. Are the founders of Moon. I really don't get the Dragon's Dogma hate. I feel like it's going to be a thing for like a week or two and people are going to find something new to latch on. I, I don't see this one lasting. Motherfuckers just want to be mad about something. People have to find a reason to be mad. Nah, this is actually gonna be nice. Yeah, this game. That's why I said this is a real game. A new project, which is called. It's made by the people who made Ori and the Blind Forest. Basically, just my dream project, right? It's the action RPG that I always wanted to play and wanted to play for 20 years now. We're trying to create one Will of I the be combat systems on the market. Space, Space Marine Two when it drops. I don't know what that is. is done, right? That you're not just walking around on a randomly generated. Planet. Did you see how many people turned on the Marvel 1943 shit? Yeah, I did. They showed the gameplay, the whole internet was excited, and I think it's rumored Sweet Baby Inc. might have worked on that game, so now people are turning on it. They're saying it's woke. <laughs> Which, once again, just goes to show you, you've never, you've never read a Black Panther comic book, because the whole comic book is woke. Combine that with the multiplayer aspect. He's literally an isolationist. Quote, unquote, social elements of, like, building it, the town and... Who cares? And I'll play it. All of those things. It's the kind of game that I always wanted to see. It's all about perspective, right? The way I look at it is, right... These go well, go broke niggas keep camp campaigning against other games, like these games and shit, right? So there are going to be some people who feel pressured not to play it. It's all a matter of perspective. Cool, that means less streamers are going to be playing it because they don't want to. They don't want to get attacked by a certain half part of the internet. I don't care. That means less people are going to be streaming it, less competition, more views for me. When niggas was boycotting the best-selling game of last year, Hogwarts Legacy, I was right there streaming it. You niggas can boycott that shit. I'll be over here getting some views. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Tweet me, nigga. I don't know you. You can get get mad. Uh, somebody making, but because I'm gonna turn my stream off and go to bed. Making it now. How come he's already joking? For us to tell people is that. What up? Uh, just dumb. The rest for the wicked. The more you would understand that what we're trying. I bet if they'd be more receptive, if it was another solo Captain so, America game. Look at any particular genre, and we would take the elements from this genre that we are excited about. We put it all together into one game, and then we iterate on it. So we might take, you know, combat inspirations from the Soul series. Monster you know, it's funny. No one came at you about the Hogwarts Legacy compared to other streamers. I'd like to think it's because I have like a decent community. Like most people are level-headed in here. Uh, so like, yeah, that's why I don't have I don't have that. Um, I don't have that side of the internet who watches me. It's one of the benefits I say. There's like there's certain there's certain 
there's certain challenges you face as a black content creator, but then there's also certain benefits of being black. And one of them is like, there are just certain people that will never watch you because you're black. But here's the thing. You don't want those people watching you anyway. Like those people thought that I like, there were a lot of people that had never heard of me before G4. They thought I was just some kind of diversity hire. I remember so many folks were scared to play Hogwarts. I was enjoying that shit, like whatever. A lot of people had never heard of me in the G4 audience before G4 because that audience would never look over here. Um, not necessarily. Some some of it because some people are racist, but I also think some people, a lot of people are just tribal. It's, it's not even necessarily a racist thing. A lot of people tend to watch. They, they like to identify with the creatives that they watch. And if you don't, don't look like them, it's hard for them to watch it, basically. A lot of people are just tribal, basically. And like the true is the same is true for like every group of people. And then there's then you have people who don't give a fuck, you know, things that have special moves, you know, and you still work with them. Uh, if not, what's next? Way, then do I still work with like G4? Like yeah, we'll be all, we'll be live tomorrow. Connected, multifaceted, dense level design that encourages retraversal and, and discovering the world. So it's really not one game in particular. We try jokes to, write themselves, um, man. They um, write themselves. Follow. It's we just inspired by all of these different um, elements from all of these different games. We put it together and uh, try to grow it and make it into the most perfect version it can be. No rest for the wicked. Your, sar your sarcasm is unmatched. On, <laughs> on April 18th. <laughs> I'm very good at staying in character. <laughs> Remember that conversation we had a couple of years, days ago? <laughs> like, like, you don't have to pretend like you care. It doesn't bother me. Like, <laughs> like, there's no need to pretend like you care. This game looks good, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Mobile Suit Gundam Universal uh, Century 0096 Silver Phantom, what kind of game is this? Ugh, I don't like these Oh, is this a show? Not a game? I don't, I don't like the CG I don't like the CG, no thank you Product not yet rated. Robo beat shoot to rhythm. Rhythm based shooter. Wait, 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 wait. Who wants to play a rhythm based shooter? Almost. Perfect. What happened to the Will Smith zombie game? I haven't seen any gameplay. Uh, they shutting it down, I think. Metal Hell Sling. Yeah, this is like EDM Metal Hell Sling. Might be y'all cup of tea. This doesn't look bad. Not my cup of tea, but it doesn't look bad. Coming exclusively to the Google Play Store. Let's see, Spine. Oh, Ethos, he, I think he linked this game this morning. I didn't, okay, okay, okay. That was so, all right, bro. I got a, I got a question to AI on this. It looked cool, but you let him do all that? What the fuck? <laughs> She should have been clapped, to be honest. Or took damage, at least. Oh, I'm getting like Batman Arkham vibes. Yeah, it's on, it must be on easy. Yo, is that the dude from, is that Tom from Toonami? It's starting to rain. Don't get your guns wet. Oh, no, it's not. Asusina, the shooter game. That's funny. Sifu with guns. This look pretty good, though. This look pretty cool. Come on. Third person, Asusina shooter. There better be a score system in this so people can run it up and show off their best scores. Is the yams is that yams I see? <laughs> All right. I can see this game getting labeled as woke. Look, how is this bitch beating all these niggas up, bro? This game is so fucking woke. It's a video game, guys. Come on. I'm just trying to have fun. Okay. Right. We've got guests. Let's welcome them properly. Yeah, this definitely looks like Sifu with guns almost. This looks pretty cool though. Game Pass maybe? Hopefully it comes to Game Pass. Uh, Batman-like gameplay. Yeah, Alpha Outpost Infinity Siege. Forget our old dunes. Yeah, hopefully that game has a demo. In the end, our pride and avarice was to be our downfall. Yeah. 
when evil reigns supreme. This looks like an asset flip. Heroes rise up. In I feel like I've seen this gun before in another game. Fight. They are the glimmer of hope within the encroaching darkness. Outpost core being established. Commencing synchronization. Twenty percent. Fifty percent. One hundred percent. ITT Tech exclusive. Fall of the Titans. Not Titanfall. Fall of the Titans. We gotta save the Titans from what it's all. Wait, is it a tower defense game? Oh. Full Cell University should be sued. Skip. Yep. Sued for what I just witnessed. Ronan, what did you link? Oh my god. Hey, and listen, um, Ronan, let me tell you something. The crow, I don't care about this shit. Let me tell you something. When you start your job on Monday, I better not see you in my chat dropping links and shit. You better pay attention when you at work. So you don't so you ain't telling customers about how a 120 frame game makes the screen shake. I better not see a single link during the daytime. You better be why I better see you in the comment sections on a Hokage Thoughts. Uh, is it gonna come in the chat the next day? Uh, guys, uh, this game, this video is an hour long. Jesus Christ, I've seen this video before. Uh, Signifier, he's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> guys, I got fired. <laughs> What'd you get fired for? I was dropping links on the on the on company hours. They didn't really like that. I would go in the back room. I was supposed to be stocking shelves and helping customers pre-order Madden Twenty Nine and. I was sending a link. I was sending a link. I didn't see the customer. And uh, what the fuck, Vice? The champion of dodgy bodybuilding. Really? We're doing videos on niggas who do gear. You can do it if you have Neuralink. Yo, chill. I'm not putting that chip in my head. Skip it, it had no gameplay. Oh, I appreciate you. No, no gameplay, we don't care. Product not yet rated. Void Rot. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't watch that spring. That's why yesterday I said I'm not watching that spring uh, game showcase. All the trailers will be in my sub box. That allows me, if, if I was, if I would have live streamed that event, I would have had to watch all that shit. I would have had to watch ITT Tech Showcase, bro. When I when the trailer is in the sub box, we can skip through the bullshit. No, thank you. Uh, we're caught up on the news, so we're gonna we're gonna start up on um, motherfucking. Oh wait, this Beetlejuice trailer. What the fuck? Let me look at this real quick. At, we're gonna start up on uh, what's this shit called? Rise of the BBC. After this trailer, let me see what this is about. Warner Bros. Pictures, the company that's in financial dire, so we're gonna re 